Today's lesson is called Woman Physicist Among Nobel Prize Winners. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. I'm Roger. Today we're talking about the Nobel Prizes, and of course, one of the awards that people pay attention to is the Physics Award or the Nobel Prize in Physics, which is usually won by some guy somewhere. But it's different, or it was different last year because a woman physicist or a female physicist actually won the Nobel Prize for Physics last year. Yeah, this is great because usually when you think of physics, you think of Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein. Yes, you think of men because physics is kind of a male-dominated subject. But hey, 2018 is going to be different. Yes, women have won the Nobel Prize in physics before, but it has been a long time since a woman won the Nobel Prize in physics. But hey, in 2018. That changed. Yes, a woman crashed this male-dominated party known as physics and took the Nobel Prize in physics for herself. So yes, 2018 is the year of the woman physicist. Okay, so let's talk about that now. Let's read through the first part of our lesson, and we'll come back to discuss it. Woman physicist among Nobel Prize winners. The 2018 Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded to a woman for the first time in 55 years, and only the third time in history. Canadian physicist Donna Strickland won the prize along with French scientist Gerard Moreau for groundbreaking inventions in laser physics. They shared the award with 96-year-old American Arthur Ashkin, who became the oldest laureate of a Nobel Prize. Along with, 表示连同以及与点点点一起。举例来说 ，After Thanksgiving dinner, we had brownies and ice cream, along with the traditional pumpkin pie for dessert. 感恩节晚餐后，我们甜点吃了布朗尼和冰淇淋，还有传统的南瓜派。另外，补充与 along with 同意的片语 together with， 像是。Our house was flooded together with all the other houses in the neighborhood. 我们的房子连同邻近地区的所有其他房子都淹水了。而 along with 除了可以表示连同以及，还可以表示除了点点点之外，与 in addition to 同意。所以可以说 along with or in addition to a piece of cake, each child was given a glass of milk. 每个小朋友除了一片蛋糕外，还会有一杯牛奶。再来，我们看到单字 groundbreaking 这个字是形容词，指创新的或开创性的。例如 ，The researchers have done groundbreaking work in identifying treatments for cancer. 研究人员在判定癌症疗法上有了突破性的成果。接着看到的单字是名词 invention， 课文中为可数用法，指发明物。像是 inventions like the smartphone have changed the way people get information. 像智慧型手机的这种发明，改变了人们取得资讯的方式。而 invention 还可以当不可数名词，指发明或创造。我们可以说 ，the invention of the telephone occurred in the 19th century. 电话在19世纪发明。另外，再补充 invention 的动词 invent, i n v e n t, invent。举例来说 ，the telephone was invented to make talking at long distances possible. 电话的发明让长距离谈话变得可能。Okay, let's go ahead and get started. The title of the article is "Woman Physicist Among Nobel Prize Winners." And yes, like I said before, the 2018 Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded to a woman for the first time in 55 years and only the third time in history. So there you have it. A woman is going to crash this male-dominated party. She is going to take the 2018 Nobel Prize in Physics for herself. And like I said before, this is not the first. Time in history that this has happened, but it hasn't happened in 55 years, which is a long period of time, and it's only the third time in history that a woman has won this award. So, 
2018 is a historically momentous year for women in physics. That much is for sure. Now, before we move on, let's talk about what physics is. Okay, at the most basic level, physics is a science. Okay, it's a science that studies motion, how things move, interact while moving, so on and so forth. Yeah, that sounds simple enough, right? Not exactly, okay? Physics not only covers motion, but all of the things that are a product of motion as well, and anything related to motion and all those other things. So yes, physics is not only the study of motion, but it's also the study of heat and light and electricity and magnetism. Yeah, when something gets hot, the particles of that thing start vibrating or moving. So even though physics has this basic definition, the study of motion, that means that physics is a subject that has to explain pretty much everything that we see in the visible world and in the invisible world as well. Bingo! So that's what physics is, and in Chinese it's just uli xue. It makes it that simple. Physics, you have to have the S there. And remember a person who has studied physics and now has a job? That person is a physicist. Physicist. That's a kind of difficult word to say there, but again, if you study physics, you want to become a physicist. And again, a woman physicist has won the Nobel Prize for physics, and it was awarded to a woman for the first time in over five decades. Here we've got the phrase to be awarded to someone. To award means to give one some sort of prize, like a trophy or some kind of certificate or something. Don't confuse this word with reward. That usually involves money. If you find my dog, I will give you a reward. I will give you some money for finding my dog. But here it involves a prize. So she. Won the Nobel Prize in physics. It was awarded to a woman for the first time in many decades, and it's only the third time in history. Now, moving on here to the next paragraph, let's talk about the dame that actually won this prize. Canadian physicist Donna Strickland won the prize along with French scientist. Gerard Moreau for groundbreaking inventions in laser physics. So this、uh, physicist is from Canada. She's Canadian, and she won the prize with someone else. Okay, so I guess two people won this prize at the same time, along with. You could also say together with this French fella,、uh, Gerard Moreau. And I guess they work together for groundbreaking inventions in laser physics. How about that? How about that, indeed? Anyways, yes, Donna Strickland won the Nobel Prize, and she shared this prize with someone. She won it along with another French scientist. She won it with this scientist, together with, or in addition to this other scientist. But why? Why did they win this prize? Well, they won it for groundbreaking inventions in laser physics. So here we have it. We've got groundbreaking inventions in laser physics. That sure does sound interesting to me. But let's go ahead and break this down. What do each of these three things mean? Well, the first of these words is the word groundbreaking. Okay, the word groundbreaking means. Pioneering. So when we're talking about a groundbreaking invention, we're talking about an invention that opened up a whole new world of opportunities for other people. These people went first and showed other people the way as far as these inventions in laser physics are concerned. Now, further, we do have this word invention. Very simply, an invention is a creation. It's something that you have. Invented. Yes, invention is the noun. Invent is the verb. And yes, to invent something is to make something that didn't exist before you made it or invented it. Then, last but not least, laser. What the heck is a laser? A laser is a very concentrated beam of light. Your teacher might have a laser pointer. When they press a button on this controller, they can point something out across the room with that red dot. That red dot you see is where the laser is being reflected off a surface. Right on, and of course, lasers are very important, and hopefully, they'll change our lives for the better in the future. So again, that's、uh, why they won the Nobel Prize in physics because of those groundbreaking inventions 
in laser physics, and they shared the award with 96-year-old American Arthur Ashkin, who became the oldest laureate of a Nobel Prize. My goodness! So not only two people, but three people actually shared this award. We've got a pretty old guy here, an American guy, but I guess you're only as old as you feel. So he's still alive and kicking and making contributions to the world of physics. In fact, he became the oldest laureate of a Nobel Prize. Now, this person is 96 years old, and this is important in terms of the Nobel Prize because the Nobel Prize is never awarded to a person who is dead. Yes, you cannot win the Nobel Prize posthumously. So we've added this sentence in there for this reason. This is notable. This is a 96-year-old person winning the Nobel Prize, and they won it here. And this is great and cool because this person is really old. If the Nobel Prize Committee waited any longer, this person might have passed away, and then they would not have been eligible for the Nobel Prize. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. We need to celebrate women physicists because we're out there, Strickland said, following the announcement in Stockholm. Marie Curie was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1903, while Maria Gopert Mayer won it in 1963. The year's Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, meanwhile, went to James P. Allison, an American, and to Suku Honjo of Japan for their work on cancer research. The Nobel Peace Prize was awarded to Dennis Mukwege, a Congolese doctor, and Yazidi human rights activist Nadia Murad. The two were recognized for their work on ending sexual violence as a weapon of war. The second part, we see the name activist, which means to promote or support some belief or ideology of a group of activists or movement leaders. The animal rights activists were arrested for causing damage to the laboratory. 提倡动物解放的积极分子因为破坏实验室而被逮捕。Okay, so remember the Nobel Prize in Physics was won by a Canadian woman by the name of Donna Strickland, and here's what she said when she received the award: "We need to celebrate women physicists." Because we're out there. Yes, they're working. They work in universities or in scientific laboratories. So we need to celebrate them. We need to recognize them, and that's what、uh, Strickland said here, following the announcement of this award in Stockholm, Sweden, which is where the Nobel prizes are awarded. There you go. We need to celebrate women physicists because they exist. Physics is a male-dominated subject, or has been historically. But hey. Those female physicists, they're out there now. Donna Strickland, we said earlier, was the third woman to win the Nobel Prize in Physics. Who were the other two? Well, that's what we're going to learn next. Marie Curie was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1903, while Maria Gopert Mayer won it in 1963. So add the name Donna Strickland to this list. Nobel laureate for Physics, 2018. Okay, so let's continue to talk about some of the other awards that were given. The year's Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, meanwhile, went to James P. Allison, an American, and Tasuku Honjo of Japan. For their work on cancer research, so they got this award together for physiology or medicine. Again, this was given out in 2018, and the Nobel Peace Prize was awarded to Denis Mukwege, a Congolese doctor, a doctor from Congo, and we've also got Yazidi human rights activist Nadia Murad. Okay. And these two people were recognized for their work on ending sexual violence 
as a weapon of war. So they received the Nobel Prize here.、Uh, we've got, of course, the Congolese doctor and a human rights activist in the Middle East here by the name of Nadia Morad. And here we have the word activist. If you're an activist, of course, you are working hard to bring about some kind of change, especially if you're trying to change something that is bad. As you know, of course, there's sexual violence going on all over the world. So. So these people are trying to change that by helping out women who live in these countries and are victims of sexual discrimination, rape, stuff like that. Yes, these two people, the two people who shared the Nobel Peace Prize, two were recognized for their work on ending sexual violence as a weapon of war. Anyways, folks, with that, it is time for us to take a short break. But when we come back, we're going to wrap up our article on the Nobel Prize winners for 2018. Announcement of the year's Nobel Prize in Literature was postponed because of a sexual harassment scandal. The Swedish Academy, which awards the prize, plans to present the 2018 award along with the 2019 winner. The second part, we see the word harassment. This word is a noun, which means sexual harassment. For example, we should try our best to stop the harassment in the workplace. We should try our best to stop the harassment. We should try our best to stop the harassment in the workplace. 我们应该尽一切可能阻止职场上的骚扰，而 harassment 去除字尾的 m e n t 则可以成为它的动词 harass。所以可以说 Amy got a restraining order on Jimmy after he kept harassing her。Amy 申请了对 Jimmy 的限制令，因为他一直骚扰她。最后我们看到一个名词 academy 指学会或专科学院。举例来说。Maria went to the music academy in order to get better at playing the piano. Maria 到音乐学院来增进弹奏钢琴的能力。All right, so let's continue now. Of course, we're talking about the Nobel prizes that were awarded. For various fields, for physics, for medicine, etc., and of course, we often hear about the Nobel Prize for literature. And here in the final part, it says announcement of the year's Nobel Prize in literature was postponed because of a sexual harassment scandal. So, of course, you're probably wondering, hey. How come there wasn't a Nobel Prize given for literature? Literature or literature? You can say it faster if you want to. That's all about writing books, poetry, novels, etc., etc. And they give one out every year, but the one for 2018, well, that's been postponed. No award has been given yet for literature because of a sexual harassment scandal. Harassment. I've heard it read that way too, but、uh, in America we say harassment. That means somebody's bothering you and making things difficult for you. This is usually used if we're talking about sexual harassment. You probably heard about the Me Too movement in the United States and Harvey Weinstein and all those people. That all has to do with sexual harassment. Those naughty men. Hitting on those women when they just want to work, and these guys keep bothering them. And apparently, they're not going to award the Nobel Prize in Literature yet because of this sexual harassment scandal. Oh man! I hope they get to the bottom of this soon. They need to give this award away to some very worthy writer who hasn't sexually harassed someone. Anyways, yes, if you were a writer and you aspire to write high art. If you want to write artistically, you want to write literature. Yes, literature. When we use this word, we're talking about writing, but we're being specific. Literature is writing that is considered high art. You write novels, you write poems, and things like that. Like an article in a newspaper. Yeah, someone wrote that, but you wouldn't call that literature. It wouldn't be writing that is considered high. Art. Anyways, if you went to college, you could study journalism. Okay, you would learn how to write as a journalist for the newspaper. But if you majored in literature, that means you would be reading the writing that people consider to be the best writing ever produced on planet Earth. Okay, so because this award for 2018 was postponed, it goes on to say, the Swedish Academy, the Academy of the Nobel Prize in Sweden. 
which awards the prize, plans to present the 2018 award along with the 2019 winner together at that ceremony, which will take place later this year. So yes, they could not give that award out last year because of this big scandal involving sexual harassment. So they're going to wait to give out last year's award this year. So they'll present two. Awards for literature at this year's ceremony. So we've got that to look forward to. All right, folks. With that, our lesson is complete, and it's time for you guys to hear from the Chinese teacher. Hello, 同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天的文法重点。在今天的课文里面呢、啊，有出现几个以 i s t 结尾的单词，像 physicist, scientist， 还有 activist。那我们就来学习 i s t 这个字根。好 ，i s t 这个 ist。它主要是用来指从事某件事情啊，或是具有某种特殊技艺的人。像我们知道 physics 是物理学。那么 physicist 就表示从事跟物理相关的人，那就是物理学家。还有 science 是科学，那么 scientist 表示从事跟科学相关的人，那就是科学家。那么 chemistry 是化学 ，chemist 就是化学家。biology 是生物学，那么 biologist 就是生物学家。还有一个很常见的字叫做 dentist， 大家都怕看牙医吧？好 ，d e n t 是牙齿，那么后面加上 i s t 表示从事相关的人，那么 dentist 就是牙医。好，另外 i s t 这个字尾呢，也可以常常用来指遵从某一种学说或是某种信仰的人。这时候就常常会跟那些具有名词字尾 i s m 的单字来相对应。I S M 会念作 ism， 好，它是用来表达某种学说啊，某种主义或是信仰，像 activism。A C T I V I S M 这个字，它是指行动主义啊，激进主义，通常就是指说为了达到一个社会目的或是政治目的而去采取各种手段的那种激进主义。好，那我们把 I S M 改成 I S T， 变成 activist， 那就表示激进派、积极分子或是行动主义者。还有，我们在 social 这个字呢，后面加上 I S M， 变成 socialism。表示社会主义，那么改成 I S T 就变 socialist， 那就是社会主义者。还有一个像 communism 是 C O M M U N I S M， communism 表示共产主义，那么 communist 就是共产主义者。那另外我们还有一个字叫做 capitalism， 它是指资本主义。那它是拼作 c a p i t a l i s m。那如果把这个字 i s m 改成 i s t， 那就变成 capitalist。capitalist 表示资本主义者或是资本家。好，我们接着读到课文第二部分，有一个句子，他提到说，在一九零三年，居里夫人她是第一位赢得诺贝尔物理奖的女性嘛。然后，一九六三年有一位玛利亚·格佩特梅姨来获奖。那这边他用到一个连接词叫 while。好 ，while 当连接词有不同的用法哦。像第一种呢，就是像课文的，它表示而或者是然而。那它是用来连接两个对比或是不同的陈述。例如说 ，Jessie is good at music while her sister is good at sports。意思就是 Jessie 擅长音乐，而她妹妹擅长运动。好，那么第二种是表达虽然尽管，那么意思就跟 though 或是 although 一样。例如 ，While Ethan is short, he's the best player on his team. 虽然 Ethan 个子不高，可是他却是队上最厉害的球员。好，那么第三种是表达在什么什么期间呢、啊？与什么同时？那意思就跟 when 一样。例如 ，While we were waiting for the bus, we ran into Dana. 我们在等公车的时候巧遇 Dana。以上是今天重点整理，我们回顾今天的单词吧。Physics. Our physics teacher's enthusiasm makes everyone more interested in the subject. Groundbreaking. The groundbreaking legal case will challenge the current interpretation of the law. Invention. The steam engine was an essential invention during the Industrial Revolution. Laser. Lasers are used in a wide variety of medical procedures, including eye surgery. Literature. 
The Iliad by Homer is considered to be one of the first works of Western literature. Academy The French Academy of Sciences is a learned society that was founded in 1666. Discussion starter starts now! All right, everyone, now it's time for our discussion starter. Roger, why do you think only three women have ever received the Nobel Prize in Physics? It's because there are so few women in STEM fields, S-T-E-M, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. They tend to study other things like education or sociology or social work, art, stuff like that. So we probably need to encourage them to study more in the scientific fields. How about you? Well, the history of physics goes way, way back, hundreds and hundreds of years. And only for the last 100 years or so have women been given the same educational opportunity. So for this reason, I think the number of female winners is low now, but that is going to change, I think, moving forward. Forward, we're going to see about 50-50 as far as Nobel Prize winners in physics are concerned. Yes, educational equality means, yes, 50% of those winners moving forward are going to be men, and 50% are going to be women. Okay, everyone, with that, today's article is now complete. But, as always, we sure hope that you guys have enjoyed reading along with us. Anyways, I'm Jeff. I am Roger. See, See you, you next, next time. time.